He's super focused right now, everyone. Mood lighting? Thanks, Nick. Ooh. That was almost a flawless day. I think you can make it if you jump. Yeah. There you go. I think this is the right way. I just don't quite remember what you're doing in here. Yeah, you need to walk past the light. Nope. I guess I was wrong. I don't I don't know where you're going. Okay, so go back. <laughs> Oh no. It should start you all the way back to the other side though, so. That's a good thing, I guess. So. Maybe you need to. I think that you had the lever the wrong direction. No, because he needs that gear to be going that direction so that he can get up from that ladder. See? But then what? See, he needs that gear to be turning the other direction. I need to go up there, but I don't know how. Oh, that's how you do it. Now jump to the ladder. There you go. Now jump to the gear. You figured it out. Ooh. Pro Gamer Nick. <laughs> Don't get crushed. Jump. Jump. Good lord. Jump to the edge. What are Bro, you this doing? Is hard. It's not. Yes, it is. <laughs> That's only a pro gamer wouldn't say. Okay, don't get electrocuted. Yes! What? Maybe I go... I feel like you need to have the electricity on for something, but you also need that cart to be moving. What was the electricity for? To move the lat to move the ped platform up so you could reach that platform up there and get to that switch. What? You crushed yourself. Oh my gosh. <laughs> it, the game's trying to teach you not to put yourself between objects and other things. I'm not going to help him with this one at all. See, the whole the thing is all about timing and he he hasn't got it figured out yet.
that. Do you see which part of that you're getting your timing wrong on? You have the idea correct, you just have the timing completely wrong. <laughs> I want to say it's the direction that I'm pushing this. And no. getting onto the platform. No, not really. Oh, this part. Mad door. Why do you always have it at, at, at the highest point when it's coming towards you? What? Why do you always have it so that it raises to the highest point when it's towards you, when it should be at the highest point on the other side? You're raising it up at the wrong time. So push that. No, push it. This part doesn't really matter. Although... It makes sense to do it the other way, but you can still do it this way. Then jump. Wait. Yeah, you should go down. Yeah, see? You keep pushing it at the same time, and it's wrong. So... I don't understand what you mean by that. Okay, so go to this side, to the left of the ladder. Push it to the right. No, to the left side. That's the right side. To the left side. Your other right. Are you just pressing buttons? <laughs> okay, climb the ladder. Jump. Jump. Now wait. Wait. Push it. Now jump on that. See how now it's at the highest spot on the other side? Jump. You kept pushing it, so when it would raise up, it would be at the highest point while on this, on your side, and be lower before it got to the other side. Mm. And now you need to grab that lever. Good luck. Well, there's a mine car there. You didn't take care of that yet. Maybe go put the mine car in the right spot. You wouldn't have had the mine car in the right spot anyway because you pulled it all the way to the the uh, edge. Yep, that's fine. You ready for a chariot ride? Do it. Run and jump. Jump. There, you did it. You did it. Okay, good luck. Don't fall off the mine cart. Ready to do the whole thing over again? No. Okay, good. <laughs> <laughs> At least you didn't stay on the minecart. There's no way to get past that saw if you stay on it. Wow, that thing flung you. <laughs> <Whoa>. <laughs> that thing flung you all the way up. That was good. Got him twice. Is it getting harder ish? A little bit, yeah. <laughs> Right, I was rushing it. it. I learned not to rush it. <laughs> Take your time. Yep. Ah! I almost died. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> I almost died. You have to get up there. Question is how. No, you know how to get up there. You just have to do it fast enough before the minecart turns electricity on. Jump! 
Yeah, you have to make it all the way to the edge before the minecart hits that switch. So stop. <laughs> yeah, there you go. Now this is... You did it! Hey, the world's turning again. And now you're in the dark. All you can see is by that light, so don't go too fast. Because that light's all you have to see what you're going to do. Watch out for the electricity. There's your, le there, there's your platform. Is it getting harder? <laughs> it is. Oh, why is that all of a sudden in the, on the screen? So, Ish, if I told you that in... If I told you on the PlayStation and Xbox versions, there's a, an achievement and a trophy for beating this game all the way through with only three deaths. That sounds impossible. <laughs> I mean, I guess if you've played it enough times, you'll remember where everything's at. Yeah, but how many times do you have to play the game? At least ten times. To beat it with no deaths. Or to beat it with no more than three. Jump. See, you wait too long. I can't jump. Your platform's right there. Now I can jump. Damn, I can't see anything. <laughs> it's a box. Fuck. You died. That's an electrical rail. Damn. How does this compare to the tension of a scary game? Um... I don't think it's as much sense just because everything that happens here is so unexpected. In a scary game, you kind of get some cues from the environment, um, such as oh shit. There's your box. The music and okay. Maybe don't go that way. There you go. You know, you get like a sudden pause in the music when something's about to pop. Add at you. So you kind of expect it. Fuck! <laughs> Should have waited for the light so you could see where the box was. Lights? We don't need no stinking lights. 